great to see everyone. I want to thank the organizers of this Indivisible group. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. I would like to brag that most of the people here are from the Upper West Side. Is that true? <laughs> so my job is to welcome you to the Upper West Side. Welcome. But as an elected official, I want to validate for you all the work that you've done since the so-called president got elected. OK? Look at what you have done. For those of you that have got involved in the grab your wallet exercise, you have taken Trump products out of some of the retail stores. Thank you. For those of you, especially the Brooklynites that protested in front of Chuck Schumer's house, thank you, because you got him to change his tune quite a bit. So thank you for that. For those of you who ran out to Terminal 4 and rallied, <laughs> and to the lawyers who went and sat in front of the cafe, to Sally Yates, and to the four justices who are my now rock star heroes, Right? You changed something. You made a difference. And that's why you have to keep doing yeah. what you're doing. OK? Of course, the unseen victories aren't talked about as much. But the unseen victories have already happened and will continue to happen. And that is slowing down our so-called president's agenda. Right? And those are the unseen victories, but they're happening every day because of the work you're doing. Lastly, I just want to mention the handout that uh, comes from my office, if you have it. It lists the rallies that are coming up. And the most important one, uh, which I think the tax march um, on April 15th, there are our marches every day, and I'm sure all of you are signed on to websites that keep you apprised of that. Go to the marches, OK? When you get asked to write letters, write those letters. As an elected official who's had to bear the brunt of being on the side that not some of my constituents weren't so happy about, I know what it's like to get inundated with emails and phone calls and people walking in the office. And I'm here to tell you it makes a difference. It really makes a difference. So keep doing that. And the absolute last thing I'll say is pace yourself. Pace yourself and think about self-care. We are all in emergency mode. I remember one day being frozen, not knowing which rally to go to. Am I going to Brooklyn or Terminal 4? Um, but pace yourself. Learn how to meditate a little bit. Make sure you get sleep at night. Eat right. Exercise. Because we need you for the long haul. And this is going to be a long ride. And we have to be a part of it for a long time, okay? So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.